and the ones with our skin we're still gonna keep them on welcome guys to Santana's kitchen today I will be doing that grilled chicken on a cold um, grill today um, just as we promised the other day um, on a, a cold grill so we should get um, a much more desirable outcome and here you see I have the grill fired up already and here we have the chicken seasoned to perfection um, 24 hours in advance all right so our coal is you know getting heated right now so I think I have just enough heat to start putting in the chicken so if you notice um, I'm gonna pull back the camera a little bit I have my coal on one side and then this side is like mostly empty so this is where the main focus of my flame will be and then my chicken could go over here so flame here chicken here and um, in a sense I'll be cooking by heat it's good it's good okay so I'm gonna start putting in my chicken now uh, hands are clean so I just go ahead and I'll start putting them on the on the grill the tray the tray that's what you call it okay well All right. supposed to put things on it so I'm not gonna go directly over the pole but right here I could put one right here So just getting all my chicken in, seasoned to perfection overnight, so it's all good. So if you look at my chicken, most of the leg quarters, um, and I'm using most of the leg quarters today and they're all, they have all your skin on, so I have the, the skin on so that you could take some of the burn if they should start burning. But I'm also experimenting with some skinless um, leg quarters. So I'm gonna put those furthest away from the pole. All right, and you might not see, be seeing any flames right now, but it's, it's, it's all heated up. Also, I'm gonna show off, today I'll be using the Heineken for um, giving my chicken a little kick and also to keep it moist and also have some extra water if I do need the water. All right, so I'm just gonna close the grill and let it um, start cooking. And I check on it every five to ten minutes okay so i have a question sure what is the aluminum foil for well the aluminum foil was to cover up my chicken earlier but i didn't quite get to it and also the aluminum foil will be used in the end to hold my chicken when it's all jerk jerk chicken normally goes on a, if you're if you're ever going if you're ever in jamaica you'll notice that um jerk chicken when served is mostly served on foil paper Okay, so we're sizzling for about five minutes now, so we're just gonna go in and take a look, see how we're looking. Um, looking good, it's much, much hotter now. Um, see some cooking going on, but I, I don't think it's time to start flipping them yet, you know. I see some flames coming from the coal, but for the most part, right now, the, the, the coal is just producing a lot of heat, so these ones closer to the coal are cooking. So I'm not gonna flip them quite yet. You know, just let them keep on cooking some more. Need more fire. No more fire. We just need heat. And like you see, we just had a spark in the, the coal a while ago. Some flame came up. Now, if the if the chicken was over the flame, that that could have burnt the chicken a lot. But we don't want to burn the chicken. Uh, we want to cook the chicken. So one of the worst things I um, see and I don't like in jerk chicken is when the chicken is all burnt. It's like you're eating burnt food. I want to be. Uh, I want to eat cooked food, <laughs> jerk food, uh, not burnt food. So we're gonna keep the chicken away from over the coal, and um, close the grill so we could get some jerk chicken, not burnt chicken. Nice. Okay, so sizzling for about 10 to 15 minutes now. We're just gonna go in and take a look, see what's happening. All right, not I see, bad. no, not bad, not bad. I see a lot of cooking going on, so I could, ooh, look at that. This one suffered some burn. So we're gonna move this one, you know, a little bit further away from the flames. Let's take a look at this one. All right, nice, look at this. So not a lot of burn, but it's, you know, catching some color, nice brownish gold color. So the ones that were closer to the flame, I'm gonna move them away a little bit, you know they suffered enough frontline action already <laughs> so and the other ones just gonna start flipping them like i said these ones they are cooking 
blood. And they're cooking at just the right temperature. I saw blood. And yeah, yeah, and that's blood oozing out the chicken. <laughs> so I like how these are cooking. They are not burnt, but they are cooking. So these, this one that I'm experimenting with, skinless jerk chicken. So I, I still keep that one a little bit further away from all the uh, fire action. All right. And these ones that are, are burnt, we're gonna just retire those frontline soldiers. All right. So chicken's cooking, it's jerking, it's not burning. So that's definitely what we don't want. Burn. Um, you know what? Some of these we could move them um, just a little bit closer. All right. Get them a little bit closer to the heat. And these ones, we just retire these guys. These are wounded, our wounded warriors. So we move them to the back line. All right. So this one is over the flame just too much. I'll put this one right over here. Not, not a lot of flame, but enough heat to cook it. So I like how it's going. Um, I see a lot of cooking going on. I saw a little bit burning on this one, but it's good that the skin is on this one, so the skin took the heat on that one. So likewise, we have a little bit of our jerk sauce here. This one we will use to later on when the chicken is kind of getting dry, we kind of keep them moist and get some more jerk, some more jerk seasoning on them. So I, I'll do that later on a little bit more. All right, nice. So the aim of the game is to get some cooking going on, some jerking going on but not a lot of burning. Yeah, the water, we'll get to the water later on for just, you know, keeping the, the chicken moist. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Smoke detector just went off. All right, so that's it for now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look, see how these chicken are faring. Um, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. There's this one that was over here earlier. I moved it right here, put it on the back um, the line a little bit. It's not burned and I want to keep it that way it's cooking right there so if you take a look at the coal most of that flame that was you know popping up from the coal is like subsided so we have these chicken here these are cooking oh yeah that's good so these chicken are on the front line closer to the coal they are cooking pretty good but I think we could uh, move them a little bit closer now um, to the coal um, because that, that heavy heat is not coming off the coal anymore. So we can start moving these up a little bit. Um, so we can start cooking them a little bit more. Alright. So these guys, move them up. Alright, so we can start cooking these a little bit more aggressive. Alright and um, give them a little bit of turn at the same time and these guys that were chilling you know on the back burner and still move them up a little bit this guy is, he suffered the most so we can leave him right here but nonetheless we move them a little bit closer to the coal because we're not having that pop up of the flame anymore so we have our jerk sauce here we're just gonna apply it um, start applying some of the jerk sauce now and this will keep our chicken moist. And just as we could talk, look at all that flame popping up. But I think it might subside. But uh, also we have, um, not going to let that worry me too much because we have most of our chicken away from, from the flames. So let's see apply the remaining jerk sauce on the chicken just to add the remaining flavor that we have to the chicken keep them moist hmm? <laughs> in that baby grill right there uh, maybe next time <laughs> all right so when I when I flip these out you know add the remaining jerk sauce they smell pretty good. Oh yeah, we should present that smell through the video. Alright, so um, after we apply this remaining jerk sauce, we're going to start moving to the um, Heineken. And when we're out of the Heineken, we jump on the water. Alright, so... 
let's take a look at these chicken. So these are leg quarters, um, not as white as leg breast, but if you notice, overall, they're taking some color. They're getting that nice brownish gold looking color, which means they're cooking. So we're not, we're not gonna be worried about bringing them over the flames. I'm just gonna let them stay there and um, close the grill and I'll let them cook. Nice. Oh, you close your baby grill too? All right, so cooking for about 35 minutes now. As you can see, we have some nice goldish brown looking chicken. So I like how it's cooking and not burning. And what I noticed about this cold flame, this one particular cold flame today is that I don't have a lot of flare ups, not a lot of uh, flames coming off the, the coal, which is good. So that's going to allow me to move my chicken a little bit closer over over the, um, the coal. So this one, I'm going to rest it right there. Sir, yes, in sir. the last video, you said you were going to use this uh, to put on some of no, that. No, that's not what I said. What I said was I'm going to use the remaining portion of the um, dirt seasoning and when that is done, then I go ahead and um, start using start using the Heineken. Alright? Okay, sir. Alright, so on flipping these, I noticed that I have uh, I'm not going to say it's burnt. It, it's good, I can live with that. But, um a couple spots where it's getting close to being burned. So I I might just keep them where they were and not move them a lot over the things. So this one have no this one has no skin. Yeah, this one has no skin. So I want to keep this away from the thing. This one has skin. So move this one up here. This one has no skin. This one has no skin. So I want to keep them away from the flame. This one, let's put this up here. Um, let's turn it around. Alright, want it just like that. Most of the meat is a little bit over the, the, the pole. Alright, so this one, let's move him back. This one, has some skin, so let's move him a little bit closer. Actually, this guy, let's move him up so he can cook a little bit. Move this one that does cook more to the back and put this one here so he could get some cooking. And this one that was burnt a little, let's move him right here. And the uh, ones without skin, we're still gonna keep them on the back a little. Alright? So we're good like that. I think I'm going to be able to get to a point where I can move all of them over the coal because I'm not getting a lot of flare up on the coal so I will be able to get a lot of them over the coal and if you notice the thing about my grill is that it doesn't have that little shelf here so that's one of the main reasons we want to keep them away from the coal until the flames are, have subsided a lot alright so, so they're cooking which is good and they're not burning which is even better alright alright so cooking for about 50 minutes now nice I like it I like what I see I think these chicken are cooked Corey! not a lot of flame from the um from the the coal Come. so that's good I like it I like what I see so what I'm gonna do um I'm gonna move these chicken from over the coal a little bit because I want to apply some of the Heineken. But what's gonna happen is that whenever um, the Heineken hits the coal, it's gonna cause a lot of um, smoke to come up. So I hope this Heineken. Let's watch the extra. Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna get that 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 fizzle up. That's so because cool. Look at the smoke, though. Yeah. So cool. So the Heineken is gonna base the chicken, keep it moist and give it a, a little flavor. 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 Like that flavor. Alright, so that's good. I got some Heineken on the chicken. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move the chicken back over. And I'm going to go all out this time. Stop it. Yeah, I'm going to put all the, the, the chicken over the coal. Because it's not a lot of flare up. So I'm gonna, just going to use the heat to finish cooking these chicken. Alright. So... All the chicken is over the coal now because look, I'm not getting a lot of flare of heat, which is good. And this big piece here, I'm going to get it right in the middle to make sure it's cooked. Alright? some more Heineken on this side of the chicken. I might get some smoke flare up, which I didn't want, but uh... Oh. Are you still got them? Yeah, yeah. Well, how am I supposed to eat that chicken if there's um Heineken in and it's only for adults? Shh! Don't tell anyone. Uh -huh. Alright, so... So I'm all over the corner only don't. because I'm not getting a lot of heat flare up. So I'm just don't gonna... worry guys, he won't let me eat it. Yeah, I'm on the final leg now. So I'm on the last uh, track. hour and five minutes now. Let's see what we got. Nice. 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 I, I think these are all well done. Look at this. Not not burnt, but good. Um, not a lot of uh, flame from the coal. Oh, what you got there going on? Oh, look at that. Ain't that cute? You got one chicken leg on, on the mini grill, huh? Alright, guys. I should officially call this grill the J grill. The J grill, okay. That's the D grill. That's the J grill. Right. And look at this. Look at this. This is our skinless um, leg quarter. And it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it turned, it's not burnt. So it came out good. And all of these are cooked. So I think that's it. Nice, nice, not burnt a lot. So I have a little flame going on over this side, but it's not on the chicken, so that's good. So you'll get to see the, the finished product in a couple minutes. Nice.